right, it's in my dino plot mode, so we're ready to do our pool. Just give this another second here, and we should be ready to go. All right, so let's go ahead and let's try this pool and see if we can get any more out of this. We're probably going to be right at the limit of our fuel system, so I don't want to go any, any higher than 90% just to be safe here. So make sure we are in gear. We are. All right, let's give this a shot. Let's hit record and do our pool. here and take a look and we made 773 so it went up a couple more pounds of boost by increasing the duty cycle just a little bit on the solenoid let's take a look here at that last pool so it went up here at about 24 pounds and then on the top end we had some ramping effect going on so we ramped the boost in a little bit and it hit 27 let's take a look at what our fuel did it looked okay when I was watching the wideband gauge and we went up to 98%. So we're gonna have to lower that down a little bit, but we did not lean out. In fact, we've richened up here on the top end. So that's okay, but I'm gonna go and take that ramping effect out of my boost taper or my boost plot or my, I'm sorry, say my boost by gear. So we don't have any issues with that. Let's go in here and let's jump back in here oh, into parameters and into our boost control. Let's take that back out because that obviously was going in and causing some problems. We don't wanna go in and uh, run out of fuel and we're probably going to drop a little bit in power. Obviously, it made uh, 472 torque and 773 horsepower. So the power is great that it made, um, but we can't sustain that much power because we don't have the fuel there. So I'm going to back it down a little bit. I'm not going to touch any of my fuel. I'm just going to back the boost down. And it should review what it did again here. It went up to, let's jump into our boost tuning. It went up here to 23 and then about 25, 26. And the top end of the table again, it went here to... 27, 27.8, almost 28. So we can see the effect here. 